that Luigi is really a piece of Polytechnic and uh, is a larger piece of the Como Polytechnico site. I, I will also uh, dedicate this presentation to many people on top there that probably came here uh, to do the master and so had not the opportunity to have Pierluigi as a professor. I was told some time ago by a colleague that a good professor can change your life. And after 25 years, I can really tell you that this is really true. So I will make it a little bit on the personal side because I am one of the guys whose life has been changed by Pierluigi. Do you know how we met? Do you want to know how we met? Here is the evidence of our first relationship. Once upon a time, Polytechnico, now there is, I don't know if there is a budget problem, Mr. Rector. <laughs> Once upon a time, we used to record our achievements on a, on a piece of paper like this one. This is a paper uh, exam transcript. Le, the libretto, the mythical Polytechnico libretto, which is something that one would never want to lose in his life. Uh, my libretto uh, fell into the Como Lake, as you may. <laughs> this is it. This is the original signature. He gave me 26, by the way. <laughs> Which was not one of my best. Well, the story is that probably I took two at the written exam, and then I gained 24 points in the oral by killing him with this. That was the iPad of the time. <laughs> really, at the time, it was uh, 1984. And the, I'm, I'm serious now because uh, Pierluigi's exam is the first exam in your career about computer science. So if you fell in love with the discipline, probably, it also depends on the first uh, approach to it, right? And at the time, we had to make a kind of uh, individual project. But it's not like today that you can do it on your own laptop. We had to go to a remote place in Milan with a pack of punch cards, code everything on that, and then go to that place, put the punch cards into the machine, wait for a couple of hours, and then if you had one bug, you should come back home, <laughs> then recode everything on the punch cards. So, we decided it was a, myself and a friend of mine to make a huge investment because Pierluigi made us so passionate about the thing that we bought this piece of hardware that at the time was really costly. That is probably what would be now 4,000 euros, something like that. I remember very well, that was my Christmas gift. You may think that I'm not a normal person, but it was two of us. And we asked it to our parents as a Christmas gift, an Apple IIe that was actually the iPad of the time. And I'm not the only one. Uh, there is a genealogy, geneal mm -hmm, you can imagine, well, a genealogy tree of former Pierluigi students that fell in love with academia. These people are either teachers here at Politecnico or they teach in very well-known international institutions. And I just put the one that I could bring back to my mind in the slide, so I apologize for the many that are not quoted here. But there is really, really a generation, one, one, two, three generations, because the bottom leaves are young uh, PhD students that some of them have entered the academic career since two years ago. And some of the upper part of the tree are, uh, well, people like me that have 25 years of teaching uh, in Polytechnico in their uh, shoulders. But there is really a generation that fell in love with computer science in Pierluigi's courses. I was the first teaching assistant of Pierluigi together with the guy, the only, the, the, the man with the bird that you see like there, the only one in uh, black, that was uh, my companion in our initial uh, exp experience as teaching assistant exactly in this place, 25 years ago. Uh, 
memories, well, are so many that it is really difficult to make a list or to prefer one achievement over another one. The message is very simple. If you would remove uh, from this place what Pierluigi contributed substantially to achieve, probably, well, we would be here naked. Nothing of the things that you can see here would exist probably without... Uh, you can name them. Alta Scuola, uh, Scuola Diretta Fini Speciali, the first faculty of engineering in Como, uh, every degree, uh, even if not in computer science at his contribution, uh, the student residences, you name it. Whatever is now uh, present in the campus was in large part uh, due to the commitment of Pierluigi. The first online degree in Italy, which was a huge effort. Again, a committee, uh, I'm not claiming that it's only the work of one person, it was a, a group of people, but continuity, I think, is the main trait here. Perugi was committed always to make this place uh, at the forefront of academic innovation. We uh, were the first in Italy to award online degrees of uh, the quality of the degree that you are now being awarded uh, here materially in presence. It was not a small, a small effort. I can witness because I was, let's say, in the troop, not in the decision maker, obviously. I was just bringing my little bit of water to the general uh, big uh, achievement and it was an enormous, an enormous work. I think that now we come closer to things that you may uh, taste better. The international campus of Como is not something that has been born by itself. Uh, at the time, I was a little bit more grown up, and so I saw uh, the material work that was needed to do that uh, more closely. I was head of the computer science career at the time. It was an immense work. It was not something that uh, could be started uh, one day for the other day. It required resources, uh, scholarships, uh, space, uh, convincing a Rayotus colleague to teach in English. Oh, I had to redo all my teaching materials in three months because all of a sudden we would be hosting, welcoming people like the one that sit in this room. Again, the key factor, the continuity factor, uh, I would say, the enabler of this is now here sitting with us. So I will uh, restrain from saying anything more, and I would like really, I don't even know the, the, the right word to properly congratulate or, or you name it, Pierluigi della Vita.